Hi there my friends. Um, so in today's video, I shall share with you guys on more advanced training in terms of how do you use solo ads. Well, most of my leads actually come from solo ads. So uh, I would say I'm pretty familiarized with using this particular method to accumulate your bias email list. Now on top of showing you the advanced method of uh, using solo ads, I think most importantly when you go for solo ads, what you really want is a high opt-in rate. Um, and getting quality buyers, right? Okay, now without further ado, let's go to udemy.com. You can see the link in the description below this video. Uh, I will provide the link there, so if you actually register with Udemy through this link, you can actually, once you register, go under Find Sellers. Alright, so you'll be greeted with this particular page. Go under the favorites here, and you will see some of the vendors that I personally recommend that I work with. Alright. Now this is very important because if you actually just experiment with all these various vendors, um, unfortunately sometimes you will get some unscrupulous vendors who will actually try to you know, make a quick buck of your money. And uh, more often than not, they will start sending those uh, fake clicks for you. Okay, now, so let's say for example, my first rule of thumb, like what I mentioned during my previous video, uh, once you go to find sellers, click on individual seller. Now what you want to really see is, for the past one week, did this particular seller have at least five sales? So you scroll all the way down. So as I said, I said today's time of recording is 16 of March. So for the past one week, which will be from the 9th of March. So let's do our counting here. So 15 of March, yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, this particular seller actually passed our test all right so um what else do we need to look for now when you actually order from solo vendors my suggestion is if this is your first time don't go for 300 visitors go for about 200 all right click on base filters click on top tiers so top tier refer to the top five countries like usa uk canada australia new zealand and singapore which is where which is where i actually come from so uh create as Click also Prime Filter because it actually uh, increases the quality of your clicks by up to 34%. Okay. So once you click on all these three fields, Base Filter, Top Filter, and Prime Filter, now you'll be greeted with this particular box here, whereby you can choose to insert just your link, or you can insert a ad text. Okay. You can choose one of the two. Now, if you actually go for link only, um, like what I mentioned in, the previous, in my previous previous video, please go for Click Magics, um, because Click Magics actually allow you to track the link coming from these sort of solo vendors to ensure that the number of fake clicks actually goes down to the bare minimum. Uh, now, some of the subscribers actually uh, ask me in terms of uh, is it normal to have some fake clicks when they order from solo vendors? My answer is yes. So let's say if I order two hundred clicks, my allowable maximum number of fake clicks is not more than twenty, which is ten percent. So generally, most solo ad vendors will actually over deliver in terms of the clicks. So let's say you order 200 visitors, sometimes they will give you between 5 to 10% more. Okay. So, but if your fake clicks exceeds 20, uh, exceeds 10%, which is 20 in this case, screenshot the particular page from ClickMagics and send it to your vendors, ask for a refund or ask for more clicks. Okay. Now, for more advanced training when it comes to solo ad vendors, go for ad tags. All right. Now, what does this ad text actually mean? So what happens is you are going to input your own email that you want this solo ad vendor to send on your behalf. Now, the reason why you want to go for ad text is because you, you are the one that's going to draft this email when you send out via their contacts, via their clicks. Now, one of the things that I like to put into the ad text is actually the price, the price of the offer that I'm, that I'm bringing this traffic to. Now, why? Because in this particular email, when the traffic actually sees that this particular offer is priced at this amount, so in this case it's $17. If, if this particular um, potential buyer is not interested to invest $17, more, more often than not, they will not even click over here. Correct? So if they don't click to here, so meaning to say, you will not be charged. Alright? So when the traffic actually sees the main description of what the offer is, as well as with the price, 
if they are curious and they're okay with the price and they click on it that is where you will start getting charged by these solo vendors okay whereby you're going to the quota of these 200 clicks okay so my suggestion is as a start you might want to go for just link only see the kind of opt-in rate that your solo vendors are giving you subsequently if you are if you're okay satisfied with the solo vendors then go for attacks okay start going for attacks as soon as you can because this one will actually help you to siphon off those people who are just window shoppers and um, who are not really serious about investing the kind of amount that you're putting into the email when your solar vendor sent to them all right so after you've done so click add to cart so and so forth uh, as you can see before i recorded this video i actually placed two new um what do you call that orders from my favorite vendor okay for 200 clicks each so for one particular offer i'm actually investing in 400 clicks in total okay now so after they send so my solo vendor just messaged me so af so after the traffic actually clicks on Okay, let me go back here again to make it easy for you to understand so after the traffic actually click on here okay for my case let me show you my landing page okay this is the landing page that i have prepared all right so do you notice something very similar about this landing page with the email here this new software launches great 100 percent automated cryptocurrency sites to get you 50 percent blah 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 right okay now sorry this was my exit pop-up this is also what i wrote in my landing page so what you want you to, to achieve is actually congruency between this as well as the email here all right so the traffic will actually feel that you are talking about the same thing all right the congruency is here now so what I want is actually their first name as well as their email address. Uh, some people just put email address. Well, that, that was what I used to do, but unfortunately I realized that it's not personalized enough. So nowadays I ask for their first name as well. Um, I don't see that as a big drop in terms of opt-in rate. In fact, having the first name will actually allow you to personalize your email campaigns. All right. So in this case, let's, let's put it as, um, all right. All right, so let's say I will put it as let me. Now, instead of driving them directly to the offer, what you want to drive them to is this thing called the bridge page. Now, this is me here talking. Then on this page, it shows me a very important aspect about yourself. You are someone who is very serious about wanting to succeed, especially with the area of affiliate marketing business. Okay, as you can see here, um, I'm just congratulating them for coming to this particular bridge page as well as doing a brief introduction of myself now what happens is you do not want to send them directly to the offer page because when you do that uh, um, they don't really know who they're dealing with so it's most important that you actually put up a bridge page here to introduce yourself congratulate them for reaching this particular bridge page um, then as well as giving a brief description of what the product is all about so and so forth then after that bringing them to the offer page all right so this is the advanced training that i have when it comes to solo ads now as well as uh, when it comes to bridge page and my landing page i always have a uh, exit pop-up uh, i realize all this exit pop-up actually helps me in terms of retaining people uh, to stay on in the page all right so that's it when it comes to the advanced training for solo ads so i hope it actually helps you so for my next video i'll be talking more in terms of um, other affiliate marketing techniques that I use. Alright, so see you and take care.